Media, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. As you guys can see from the title, today we're doing uh, Partners in Cream Project Pan. Oh my goodness, my brain. Second video I filmed in a while and my brain isn't all there. So I'm gonna update you guys on this Project Pan. You guys, I am realizing that <laughs> We have like two months left after this month of the year. So a lot of these project pans are going to be wrapping up soon, which is exciting and sad at the same time. But I'm happy that some of these will be returning next year on my channel, as well as a lot of people, I'm sure. So this was created by the beautiful Steph and Dylan here on YouTube. I will have everything you need to know down in the description box. But if you're here to watch this update, just stay tuned. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the familia. My name is Alejandra. I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with a dash project pan. That is something that interests you. Subscribe, join us, and now let's get on with this update. All right, if some of you guys follow me on Instagram, I had said that on Friday I was gonna do a get ready with me and then I realized uh, this project pan needed to be updated today. So I am gonna still do that uh, get ready with me as always, I always have hiccups in my life. So I have a little one home this week um, to avoid a bigger catastrophe, basic. So let's just leave it there. Um, so today I'm gonna update you guys on the five products that I have. I am very excited to share some almost there, not so quite, some finished, not so much. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. All right, let's start off with the first product here. This is my Mali Beauty uh, Topaz Shadow Stick. My goal was to use this 15 times uh, by the end of this project pan, no matter what month or not, you guys. I've been terrible with this. Uh, again, if you did not watch my Shop My Stash, I had a lot of things going on in September as far as my kids scheduling, trying to understand when I could do my makeup, and then my allergy seasons kicked in, and luckily I have everything under control at this point, but I was only able to use this twice. Now, I'm trying not to roll it up too much because you could start seeing it's already bending, so I'm a little bit nervous to roll this up. I have a lot of this left. Like, I, I, I have used a lot, but I still have a lot left. My goal is to use this 15 times. I have 13 more uses to use this up. I know I'll get there, it's just I gotta, now that I have my new Pan Those Eyeshadows colors, there's a few that will work with this color so then I can incorporate it into my looks. So this one's still staying in here and I'm happy about that because I want something to be consistent in this project pan and not constantly having to roll in, roll out. But uh, this one's staying in until I hit my 13 more uses. Up next is my cream blush. This is the Merit Beauty Be uh, Beverly Hills Cheek Color. My goal was just to use this to get to know it a little bit better. You really can't see too much usage on on this because this is actually a pretty stiff formula. To be honest with you guys, if I knew somebody that could use this, I'd get rid of it. This was um, sent to me in PR. I like the color. I don't mind it at all, so I don't mind keeping it, but it's not my favorite. It's not something that I'm so excited to use up completely. I have found that the color is, there's nothing special about this product, and that's why I like to rotate things in like this to understand them a little bit more. I said that when I did the review on, the, on all these products that this specific one, there's so many cream blushes out there, liquid blushes, that this isn't necessarily something that stands out for me to recommend, stands out as far as shade, formula, any of that. So I'm happy that I got use out of it. If I do come across someone that may like this, I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it. If not, I'll keep it in my collection and try to use as much of it as I possibly can before it goes bad, but it's not something that I'm excited to have in my collection, nor am I excited to ever repurchase, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna roll this out now that I've been able to use it for the past month and put it back in my collection. Up next, you guys, is my Benefit What's Up. I'm kind of bummed about this, but, but it's okay. So here are my tally marks. I'm gonna to try to show you guys with my fingers. You guys can see this is where we started and this is where we originally were in the first update. So I used this much up the first time and now you guys, you can see this is all we rolled up. I probably have, it's right on the edge. Like it's literally on the edge of this. I probably have about a week's worth of this product, maybe a week and a half at most. It is what I'm wearing all over my face today. It's beautiful. I've used this whole thing up, which I'm very proud of. If I roll this all the way down, it is all the way down. So I can't roll this up anymore for where it is. 
and here it is that that's it that's it you guys i've used this thing almost all the way up i will still keep it in here because i don't know it could be deceiving and this could last me a good two weeks and here i am rolling it out rolling something in its place and it's still going for almost the whole entire month so I'm still gonna keep this in. I'm still gonna count this as a product in this project pan until it's officially done. I don't know if I'll dig it out, to be honest with you. We'll see when I get to that point if I wanna dig it out. If not, I do have something in mind already that I wanna roll in in its place because you guys know that I'm trying to use up all of my cream and liquid products and enjoy them as much as I can before they go bad because some of them are starting to get there. They're getting there. Next up, you guys, is my Lorac behind the scenes eyeshadow primer. Here, oh, it's a little bit dirty, I'm so sorry. But here are all my tally marks, if you guys can see them, and you guys, were officially done. I have beaten the crap out of this. I have bent it, squeezed it, turned it, did the whole nine yards with this, and it's completely done. It is a beautiful product, you guys know I like it. I've gotten all of these with my Lorac uh, eyeshadow palettes. I've never purchased one myself, but I'm happy to have these, because I do like them. I am currently, I rolled in another one on my own, that I have in my collection, that's what I'm using today. Uh, not necessarily rolling it in this project pan because I'm giving myself a break since I've already done it twice and I don't wanna be redundant and keep doing it. So this is gonna get rolled out and into my empties for the year, which is exciting. Last but not least, I rolled in my AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. You guys, I told you I didn't have much left of it. This is in the shade medium and I am so, 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 so happy to report that I'm done. This is officially done. There is nothing left. I cannot squeeze anything else out of it. It is done, you guys. I enjoyed it while I had it. I realized, though, this was very orange compared to my other BB Creams Tinted Moisturizers foundations. I don't know if it's the shade medium that I chose. In the summer, it worked great, but as I'm starting to lose my tan, I started to notice that it was starting to look more like an Oompa Loompa. So I'm very happy that I chose this one to finish off this year because I know I wouldn't have enjoyed it in the winter time and i probably wouldn't have finished it off next year just knowing that it was orange based would i purchase this i would if i was in a pinch but i would get the light version of this one and in hopes that it's not as orange as the medium one is it was a beautiful formula i enjoyed it while i had it and you get a ton you get your typical i believe one milliliter in here right 30 milliliters in here so 0.30 right no 30 milliliters in here so you get a lot of product in here and this lasted me a long time for what it was and how much it is so i enjoyed it if you have like a teenager or preteen or a girl that has like beautiful skin that doesn't really need that much coverage this is something great and inexpensive for them so my one and only foundation tinted bb cream whatever you want to call it of the year which i'm very happy with that means one more down in my numbers at the end of the year all right so let's recap real quick i am rolling out three products two are empties one is just going back into my collection unless I find a home to send that to and then these two will be here for this round so that means I'm rolling in three new products so let's go on to the new product shall we uh first is this this is I haven't put in a concealer all year long so I thought it was it was time I'm putting in my Clinique ever even better all over concealer and eraser thingamabobber in the shade bone so here's what this looks like. You could tell this is very, very light. Now here's the deal with this. I am wearing it under my eyes and you can see that it looks a little bit brighter under my eyes than the rest of my face. I have been trying to use this up. This is the only concealer I purchased this year. I bought this in January of this year when Ulta was having these half off. I got the foundation for free and I purchased this for $13. I like the consistency of this. This is not something that's full coverage, which I appreciate because I don't like full coverage under my eyes if I don't have full coverage on my face. And most of the time, that's how it works. But the color is very, very light. So in the summer, I had a little bit of trouble with it, but I've been using this a ton lately that I can see window in here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see a little bit of window. This is gonna take me a while for me to use but I still think that I may be able to get a lot of usage out of this before the year ends. And even if I don't finish it, at least to try to use as much of it as possible. So this is gonna be in here for a bit. It's not something that I think I'm gonna end up using up. It does have like that sponge on the end right here. I don't use it, I just, I don't bother with that. It's too hard and stiff. So I'm gonna roll this in until it's done. I may pull out the stopper. I don't mind doing that with concealers, not necessarily 
lip glosses so i might pull out the stopper on this one up next is my one and only setting spray left in my collection you guys this is the ofra mattifying makeup fixer i'm wearing this today i figured you know what it's my last one might as well put it in here in here and i dropped it I don't know where I'm at because I've only used it maybe a handful of times. This is basically brand new. My goal is to finish this off. I don't think I will finish it off by the end of the year. I would be using a ridiculous amount if I do finish it off by the end of the year, but knowing since I already used one of these up this year, it's gonna take a few months. I'm just gonna use as much of it as possible. This will probably stay in here the rest of the year as well, which I'm perfectly fine with because once I'm done this one, then I can just go ahead and purchase the one I want and that's the end of that because this is my last setting spray in my whole entire collection. That is exciting for me, big time. And last but not least, here's what I'm gonna, I decided to do. As you guys know, I like to rotate my cream blushes in my collection. I have rotated through all of my cream blushes. I only have five at the moment. I have used up four this year of liquid blushes. So I'm kind of going a different route. Uh, for the next few months, I want to pull out mini lipsticks that I could multitask as a cream blush as well as on my lips. So that's what I wanna do to try to see if I can finish off more lipsticks in my collection because I feel like those would be easier to use up than the liquid or cream blushes that I do own in my collection. I'm not gonna neglect them, it's just I'm giving them a break to try to get to my lipsticks because I'm neglecting my lipsticks to concentrate on those five products. So I'm trying to just give everyone a chance and see what I can finish off and then rotate here and there. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with anything cream blush in my collection, even going forward as next year comes and I start this project pan again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in this one. This is my Bite Beauty Date lipstick. I have been using this for about a week as a cream blush. I'm wearing it today. It is beautiful. This is all that I have left, all of my mini Bite beauty products I want to use up because you guys know that those are more natural they go bad quicker and I don't want them to go to waste like I have wasted many in the past so I want to try to be a little bit better at that date is not one of my favorites to be honest with you on my lips it's a little bit more pink than I appreciate or like on my lips personally so every time I would wear this one anyway I would always pair it with a darker lip liner or mix it in with another lipstick. So I figured, since I really don't like it on my lips, why not try to use this up as a blush? Because I feel like this is a beautiful blush for this time of year. It's not too peach, it's not too pink, it's right there in the middle, and it is something that really stands out on my cheeks. I really like it, and the formula is beautiful for a, clean, a cream blush. Can I speak? No, I can't. It is beautiful for a cream blush. It is creamy enough, but it's not super glossy where it's gonna get sticky on my face. So I think this is perfect. I've already played around with it. I like it, I'm digging it. So I'm gonna roll this in to try to finish this lipstick off. I don't think I'll have an issue because these are minis and that way I can try to see as many as I possibly can of these Bite Beauty ones before the year ends and even going forward in next year's uh, project pan. So that's where we are, you guys. For next month, I think I will be rolling out this highlighter and possibly the lipstick. I think the other three products may be here another round, which is perfectly fine. As long as I'm rotating one thing in, one thing out, I feel like it's a little bit more fun for you guys and for myself, and it's not so bored. Me coming on here, saying the same five products are still stuck here. I don't like to do that. I like to have hard and easy products, as you guys know, and I've said it many, many times. So that's it, you guys. That's all I gotta say. Check out the description box if you wanna know anything else, playlist, everyone else that's involved. I'll put more videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, adios.